Right now it's about 5.30 p.m. And whenever I look out this window and I see it's, you know, 5.30 p.m., look out and I see the sunset, and I kind of become sad. You know, I'm not going to lie. I kind of become sad. I don't know why I do, but it's like I, I hate not seeing the sun out. Now, I haven't really seen the sun out uh, as outlined in my last week's video, but um, I do really like seeing the sun. So it's always uh, a beautiful night, time of the day, but at the same time, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. I don't know really where, where I'm going with this, but let's go ahead and get started with today's video. A recent question I have gotten from the comment section on my YouTube channel is, if you were in high school and I, you were interested in IT security, cybersecurity, what would you do? What would you do if you were in high school or if you were even uh, in the ages of middle school? What would you do to best suit yourself up for success in the future? In today's video, I'm going to give you three primary things that I would work on uh, in high school uh, as an individual and as a student. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I am a cybersecurity student and I I don't know where I really went with that intro, but I just, I gotta give intros, you know, I gotta give intros. I don't really have one of those cringy dubstep intros, so I gotta give, gotta give those uh, other intros. I don't know where I'm going with this. In today's video, we're gonna talk about three different things um, or three different uh, ideas that I would recommend students in high school uh, really pursue if they're really interested in IT security. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one is networking. Now, I'm not talking about IT networking. I'm talking about networking with the community. As a high schooler, it may seem, well, rather daunting to think about talking to professionals in the security industry. But I will tell you this right now. Um, I have seen from the security perspective and just the IT, general general IT perspective, um, people and professionals especially are more than willing to, to meet and help students. And that includes high schoolers. Getting your name known whenever it is possible is the best idea you can do. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're just getting your name known in, in a local meetup, in a high school club, um, anything. Go out, meet as many people as possible. The biggest idea that you want to do when you are looking into networking with people is working on those communication skills. Are, what, what is your body language like? What is your eye contact? How are you asking your questions? Communication skills are really important and they really can't be improved without actually going out and applying them. So networking is super important uh, as a high schooler, I went out and did a little bit of networking myself and I found out um, just how much opportunity there is for mentorship, uh, for people to help you in the industry uh, and to honestly build and establish connections and relationships within your industry. A tip I would give you if you are in high school is go ahead and create a LinkedIn. Um, because you're going to want to connect with these professionals, ask them questions over messaging, things like that. So I would go ahead and create a LinkedIn. I would go with the mindset of really working on your communication skills as a student and just establishing relationships. The second thing I would do is work on getting the IT fundamentals down. Oh, that's so cringeworthy. Now, I would, I would really work on getting the IT fundamentals down. I don't know how many times I've said it, but um, this is pretty standard advice within any industry you're going to go into. Get the fundamentals down before you're going to niche into something. That applies to IT as well. You may be thinking, ah, I need to be doing this red team, blue team thing, or ah, I need to be doing this ethical hacking CTF exercise. No. If I were you, work on getting the fundamentals down. You are in high school, you have time. Do it right. Do not think that you have to be this expert hacker. I will be a hacker. Um, that is a red team, blue team expert. Get the fundamentals down. I highly recommend, and uh, this is what I did. Start, start with the A+, plus, CompTIA A+. Plus. I, know, I, I know professionals and people will be like, no, don't do that. You're just pursuing the certification. I don't really even care about the certification. Um, but I really think like the, the, the A+, plus, 
yes, don't don't worry about memorizing all the facts, but it just has those concepts, those basic concepts down. I think that's so important as students um, is, is getting those IT fundamentals down. Like I can't tell you how nice it was to start with just the IT fundamentals to not have like this this weird weird um path where i was like ah, i know some security things but i don't really know the fundamentals understanding from the bottom up is going to help you so please do yourself uh, a favor and work on getting the a plus the a plus uh completed i highly recommend for this tip i highly recommend um cybrary cybrary.it honestly no, I'm not getting paid by Cybrary to, to put this out there, but I think Cybrary has a great uh, A-plus program. It's free, and uh, I really recommend Cybrary for that. The third thing I would recommend is a student in the, the cybersecurity, a prospective student. I'm still an aspiring cybersecurity professional myself. The third thing I would really recommend is understanding the fundamentals behind programming. You will only help yourself if you understand the fundamentals behind programming. Now, once again, do you need to be developing these real world applications that are going to be deployable with all kinds of features? No, but just understanding how to read basic syntax, understand how to logically develop programs with an emphasis of scripting. Uh, would be very important. Let's go ahead and uh, like address what, what, where in programming could you could you learn. I would recommend just understanding the very obviously the basics of programming, and I would recommend you start out with a language like Python. My computer screens just went off, so the lighting probably just went down. No, I would really recommend uh, Python as a starting programming language. I have uh, a few videos on this channel regarding Python. I recommend uh, for the resource that you would you would learn. Or, or utilize. Uh, I recommend Station X. They provide a good Python cybersecurity course uh, that, that is security specific. Uh, but I also recommend CyberAid.it and just any basic programming. It doesn't have to be security specific, but I always recommend Station X because they do have that security conscience in mind. The biggest thing that you're going to want to do is, again, once, like I said, is work on the scripting aspect of it and understanding the logic, uh, the development behind programming for me right now i'm working on like uh understanding like writing down my logic and then implementing that into a program instead of being somebody who just like writes the first line of code and then has no idea what to do what order would i recommend you do these in i would recommend you literally do the order that i just had uh, outlined start with networking get more expert insights into what you would uh what what is helpful and what, is, what would help you in the industry. I would highly recommend that you uh, go out and go to, to meetups, clubs, hackathons, things like that. Then I recommend you understand the IT fundamentals, go through the A plus course, or it doesn't have to be the A plus, but just go through the IT fundamentals, whatever courses you end up finding. I always recommend the A plus. And then understand the basics of programming. If you can do that, you're going to be setting yourself up for massive success in the future. Because, no, you, you, did you hear any security within what I just said? No, not really. But you will understand the fundamentals, and that is so important, especially in high school, getting those fundamentals down, because you will always be able to learn the technical skills, the security aspect, the security controls, the security hardening. You'll be able to do all of that later on within college and within the professional world. Thank you very much for watching. If you are in high school, um, I hope that you found this informational and helpful. And I ask that uh, if you are is somebody interested in learning more about cybersecurity or how to get a career in cybersecurity, go to my website, cyberinternacademy.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.